<clears throat> what up mofos welcome back to the channel i am super excited to do this look today dum -da -dum. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> colleen is chewing your jacket she is eating your jacket this is why she be throwing up and shit because you she be chewing on your fucking jacket who knows where that jacket has been Today we are doing, we are creating a, cr a cut cre a cr crease. <laughs> Today's tutorial is a little different because <laughs> we're gonna do a cut crease. I rarely do these, and don't get me wrong, <laughs> she looks good when she does, but she just don't do them real often. Uh, but today you're gonna get a little tutorial on how I do my cut creases. I know there are a plethora of ways you can do anything in makeup, I mean, anything in makeup. There are literally a thousand one ways you can do it. Today you're gonna see how I do mine, how I get to this beautiful glam soft sashin look so if you're interested <laughs> interested if you're interested in learning how to the exchange cut crease then stick around for this tutorial slash get ready with me slash why does rihanna fucking hate me So I did my base off camera which is foundation and highlights setting those two things because between drag race uh, season 10, season 4, and the last tutorial I've done on my own channel, you see me do that part a bajillion times. So I was like, let's just, that's like 20 minutes out of my life and yours that we're cutting. So we're going to start at the contouring stage, which is, <laughs> if you remember the last time, I'm a high-low kind of gal. I go for cheap shit that gives me good result, which is the, um, uh, 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 uh Maybelline, no, L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow Continuous Cocoa. I got this on Amazon. I got it, went on Amazon, I, and I bought about 15 of them for like $10. It's great. Don't make people feel like they're less than if they don't use like the most expensive products. Because honestly, some of the most expensive shit is made from the same labs that the cheap stuff that you get at the beauty supply store or the dollar store is made. That's the realty that y'all don't know. So last tutorial, I ended up using a lot of Ben Nye. I would say I didn't realize I used as much Ben Nye as I do. When I first started drag, I went to, like this was like maybe two or three months after I started doing drag, a place in New York City called Alcom. They're a theatrical supply makeup place. They sell like a lots of theatrical makeup and also like regular beauty stuff that you would find, you know, um, you know, like lip cosmetics and stuff like that. And they had a, what they call a tent sale, which was at their warehouse in Queens. If you came... You just paid ten dollars, and you could rummage through their entire stock and take whatever you could uh, fit in like your caboodle. So I bought a caboodle there for like sixty dollars, and I paid the ten bucks. And I mean, I walked away with hundreds of dollars of product. I want to say, if I had to guess them it, I would say I walked away with at least seven hundred dollars worth of product. It was crazy. A lot of it, like I said, I still use today. Miss Breaky Breaky. This is some vintage Kevin Aquan shit. Can we talk about Rihanna's hate for me really quick? Okay, so this is... It started off as a running joke between me and Patty because he thought eventually it would fix itself. But at this point, I genuinely think Rihanna does not like me. Or she see my drag. She thinks I'm fucking whack. She thinks I'm a piece of shit. She thinks that I uh, that I kill babies, that I drown kittens. She just hates me. So it all started. If you know me, I have been singing Rihanna's praises pretty much my entire drag career. She's always been because I got I got like more cognizant of the goddess that is Rihanna when I started you know performing and doing her music and like yada yada yada. And I've like always been obsessed with Rihanna. More so over the past four or five years. She's from the Caribbean. I'm from the Caribbean. He's black. I'm black. Um, we She wears box braids. I wear box braids. Like, we do pretty much all the same things. And Fenty had reached out to me, and they, like, sent me a whole Fenty care package. Cut to, I do All Stars, and I do my angelic white look, which is a huge homage to the queen, because I thought her Met Gala look was one of my favorite things in life ever. Um, and I posted the Angelic White thing, and all, like, her, the stylist, who I kind of put it together, I believe, um, the guy who designed the look, like, her whole team, like, were tagging me on Twitter, on Instagram. When the episode came out, they're like, oh my god, yeah, 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 they're like, this is amazing, this is crazy! <laughs> Oh, 
Rihanna? Nothing. Silence. Radio silence. Which, again, she doesn't. she's not required to do. This is just simply me. Rihanna is not under any obligations to even acknowledge a slither of my existence, okay? This is completely me and completely my ego. Season 11 happens. She's obsessed with season 11. She loves Vanjie. She loves Evie. 12 happens. She fucking loves Jada. Jada, Jada, Jada. The Jada's fair. Jada's it. She loves Nina West. She loves uh, Shea Coulee. What was the tipping of the iceberg for me was the other day, I go on Facebook and Candy Muse posted a picture of her tag Rihanna in some random post on Instagram. It was like, um, Rihanna's fierce, but Candy Muse do it better. <laughs> All that. And Rihanna saw it, and she liked it and reposted it. Like, I was like, this fucking bitch, fucking Candy Muse, I'm your kin, girl. I had the opinion that I think that you're too pretty for her to repost. People are going to be like, wait. <laughs> so you're saying that Candy Muse is ugly? Vanjie's a piece of shit. I use my Ben Nye Clown White as a primer to help that color stick. I go in with the MAC Co Eyeliner Pencil in um, Engraved. And I use that for the base of my crease. So I go right, I go like literally right under my eyebrow, like right where the, the first hair follicle is sprouting from my skin. And I just create not a full circle, but I kind of cheat it. So I start here and it's pretty full, but then I start to, I don't know what the technical term for that would be. I start here with like the fake crease, and then as it goes closer to the bottom, I'm going into my natural crease in my eye. This eye is bigger than this one. So anytime I do stuff, I always have to overcompensate on this eye to make it match this eye. I don't know if it doesn't look like it, or does it? But this eye is bigger than this one. Not everyone thinks that they're symmetrical. Bitch, nobody's symmetrical. No one's symmetrical, unless you're a fucking cartoon character. <laughs> I'm just gonna go and blend up. Not down, blend it up. Sometimes you do your makeup one day and you're like, oh, bitch, I'm fierce, I'm stunning, I look gorgeous. And then you're like, who is this fucking gargoyle? Remember that show Gargoyles? Oh, that was a good show. The female gargoyle? She was everything. That's how you know you're a queer faggy kid. When every time you watch a TV show, you want to be the female character. I want to be the female character. I wanted to be the female gargoyle. I wanted to be um, Chitara in Thundercats. I wanted to be um, Yellow Ranger. Everyone wanted a Pink Ranger, but I just thought that the, that the Yellow Ranger was dope. Because also, I grew up in St. Lucia, and there weren't many Asian people in St. Lucia. So I didn't really... The concept of being or seeing an Asian person in real life was just so far to me. I was like, I want to be this otherworldly person, you know? But there are a lot of Asian people in St. Lucia now. Anytime I go, I, go, I go visit my mom, it's so funny to hear Asian people with these, like, thick-ass West Indian accents. And I'd be like, yo, what? I love it. Race and ethnicity and all that stuff is so, such a fucking fucked up social construct. Because if you are a Cantonese, Taiwanese, Japanese person who grew up in Jamaica or in Guyana or in St. Lucia, that is what your cultural experience is. And you you know what I mean? Obviously, besides the things that your parents may teach you or whatever, um, like, that's what your lived reality is. So since I fucked this eye up, I'm going with that clown white. I'm going to clean the bottom of the crease to make it match the size, height, density, and weight of the other one. Are these equal, right? Yeah, they look better. Ooh, not better. So today we're doing a gold crease. I'm gonna go in with the Be Perfect Carnival palette. Woo hoo hoo! Thank you, Be Perfect. I'm gonna go in with the color Fortune. I'm gonna put that as the base for the gold crease. I might use this color yet. So let's see how she. Uh... Okay. I would like a little more pigment, but I'm not mad at it. I'm going to put glitter on top of this anyway, so I'm not like, you know, like, oh, my dragon's web! 
I want to do a street beats in like Brownsville, East New York, like on a corner in the hood, getting in full drag. That would be the Kiki Kaka. I'm kind of here for it. I'm going to start with my Ben Nye Sparkler in the color gold. I don't know if there's like a specific, specific name. I'm kind of here for it. Start to define your eye. Ugh, bitch, I will use a product until it's at the bitter end. Now, I'm gonna go with my Epic Wear NYX in white. I'm gonna go a little inner eye here to open that up. Work, 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 work. I'm gonna start at the end. And still do what I normally do and gently pull that color through the brow. And make a shape that I'm happy with for the bottom of the lash, of the, of the brow. We can work with that. And pull this color in more. There we go. It's cute, right? I'm kind of here for it. So the illusion is that the eyebrow is going through the crease a little bit. Do you know whose eyebrows I love? The girl that won Instant Influencer. Uh, Ashley Strong. I love her eyebrows. She does one that's like a fierce arch. The other one is just a straight line. She's so gorgeous. I don't understand how she doesn't have more followers and more engagement. A, she's stunning. Her makeup is fierce. She has a great person. She's just one instant influencer. I did reach out to her, though, after she wanted to do exchange rate. And to be fair, she probably had, like, a lot of, like, a big influx of DMs. So I get it. She couldn't, you know, get to me. But I invited her on exchange rate. And no one replied. Um, I just put my prosate on. While that's drying, I'm going to apply my blush. I discovered blush in All Stars 4, and it, again, has changed my life. I love it so much. We're going to crank that AC on after we finish this, mama. She got a little ball sweat. One and two and three and four and do them sit-ups right and tuck your tummy tight and ooh, she's a workout playing Kanye West. Oh, my God. Where, like, what? That was such a popular song. Yeah, the workout plan. I can't stress how important it is to line your lips, ladies, gentlemen, persons. Just line your lips. Otherwise, you really look like a crackhead. Y'all remember um, Ashy Larry from um, Dave Chappelle? That's what y'all be looking like when y'all don't line your lips. Crazy. Line your fucking lips. I can show you guys pictures when I did not line my lips. <laughs> Colleen is like <laughs> Not that Bob is gone We're just never going to see Mateo and Nick and them ever again All right, y'all, that's the head to toe. Well, all right, y'all, the face is done. The lips are done. I'm going to step off camera and get in full geesh. I'll be right back. And this is the final look. Oh, look at her. So soft, so delicate, so feminine. Guamana! Um, I put on this wig. I just feel like... I want to say the black Wendy Williams, but Wendy Williams is black. <laughs> but I just feel really feminine and really gorgeous and really pretty. And it's the cut crease. I really do a cut crease, but when I do, I do it right. <laughs> Me too with it, though. I look good. I look good.
it. I think the button is here. Or maybe it's here. Or maybe it's here. It's somewhere on this page to subscribe and put your notifications on. Thank y'all so much for watching. And um, have a good day. Good day, mate. Good day. Good day. It's a good, it's good day. G apostrophe D-A-Y. Good day.